Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to do a book review. Um, I was trying to find reviews on this book on YouTube already, but I couldn't find any. So I figured, you know, if I want to help someone who's in the position I was in, I'm going to just make a book review. And the book is actually Jordan B. Peterson's 12 Rules for Life. It's backwards in the camera, but this is how it is. This is how it looks. And it's a pretty big book. I went into it buying it because I like Jordan B. Peterson's videos. I used to watch his lectures. I used to see how he would talk to people and he was a very smart guy. He talked about a lot of deep topics, a lot of things that were very, you know, unique to the human nature. So Jordan B. Peterson is a psychology professor at Harvard, or he was, I don't know if he still is. And this book, I bought it mainly because I wanted to pick his brain a little bit more, kind of like getting to know him on a personal level without actually meeting him. And so I didn't really know what the book was about. I just said, hey, this is his newest book. I'm going to buy it. And it actually is a self-help book. Now, I'm not naturally a big fan of self-help books, but this one was pretty good, right? So it gives you 12 different rules, and they're all named funny. They're all named funky things. And you don't know exactly what the message is going to be. Like one of them, it says you should pet strange cats. And or pet you know cats across the street or just really funky things like that and then later on in the stories he goes on to tell you you kind of start putting the pieces together of what that actually means and it's like a life lesson now it isn't so much like a typical do this 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 and follow that and then you'll become quote unquote successful mentally physically or financially he actually just gives you pieces of advice that he actually went through he gives you a lot of background stories and i think that's pretty interesting it's not so preachy. It's not so much like, you should listen to me because I have the best opinions out there. He was giving examples like, well, this is how it works in the real world. I one time had a buddy who was an alcoholic, or I one time had a friend who was into drugs, and you kind of start seeing where the their paths in life start leading because of they don't, they're not following certain rules that he learned over time. So he actually gets um, the rule after he sees the thing happen and then he's like well you know that's pretty interesting i should probably talk about that and i like it for the most part it's like if you're not one who is naturally into self-help stuff like i wasn't really i'm not really into self-help books um it's funny because this channel is you know a little like self-help ish but I feel like if you're in one of those situations where you kind of need some guidance, where you want a little nudge in the right direction, where you want to kind of ponder what's going on in your life, this is a good book to get you to do that. It's a good book to get you to start opening your mind and being like, huh, there are some people in my life that are a little toxic. There are some things that I could change about me personally. There are, you know, reward and consequence benefits that happen when I do certain things. Like one chapter I actually found really interesting. He talked about how he was babysitting his friend's son while he was away and they were so used to the son watching TV and he couldn't fall asleep and then he was like, well, you're rewarding him with TV. You're telling him staying up gets you TV time. So then he started talking about why the brain functions that way, how you can do to prevent that. And it's not something that you just apply to babysitting your friend's kid on a Saturday night when he's out away at work. It's about like the reward system in our brain and how we start functioning as humans. And where that leads us to start developing certain habits. And if these habits keep happening over time, it could lead to other grown-ups who develop dependency issues or stuff like that. So it's very interesting. I do like it. It's a pretty big book. Each chapter is about a couple, you know, 20, 30 pages long, and it's about 300-something pages. Um, I like knowing that because I like reading books by chapter and seeing how long they are. It helps it divide it all up. Um, but it's it's a pretty good book. I like it. I think you should check it out. I'm going to read his other ones about uh, mythologies and uh, like the great classic books that he has about like mind picking certain religions back in the day. So overall, I think I give this book about um, three and a half stars. You know, I wouldn't consider it a four because I'm not really into self-help books. But I think it would be a four if you're looking for something like that. If you're looking for a nudge, if you're looking for something that will help you kind of go a little bit forward or if you just want to relax and be like you know what let me listen to this older gentleman from Canada who teaches philosophy or psychology in Harvard and let me kind of see what his brain can teach me let me kind of engage in conversation with him but anyway that's the review hope you guys like it stay safe out there